The local Red Cross and Salvation Army chapters are accepting donations that will be used to help the Haitian quake victims. To rescue those in the rubble in Haiti in the aftermath of the massive earthquake, they first have to be found. High technology, high technology like that shown to Paradise students today, is used. But thermal imaging, while best known for saving lives, can also save electricity. Keep working through. Sixth graders in Paradise Intermediate School tracked down a fellow student posing to be a victim trapped inside a burning house. Thanks to a thermal imaging camera, she's found. And there's your person right there, huh? The disparate temperatures of the environment and the victim's body temperature, along with the image itself, makes the rescue possible. This technology, besides saving lives, can save energy, which is what Paradise Intermediate will use its new thermal imaging camera donated by PG&E for. They're going to look for... Uh, any kind of deficiencies that are in uh, around the doors and windows of the structure here at the intermediate school, find out if there's any places where heat might be seeping through there. You're looking at like the cracks of doors and windows to see if there's any en heat and energy escaping so we can seal that up. The thermal imaging technology was presented to the students for the first time on Wednesday. Based on the intent looks on the students' faces and the number of raised hands, the thermal energy technology has captured the imagination of these young people. That's very good. Um, lots of um, facts and learn lots of stuff. Everybody, I think, enjoyed it. A life and energy saving tool is also a learning tool. And the cost of the camera, $10,000, all of it paid for by PG&E.